pick that the Knicks make tonight. Good reaction here in Brooklyn. With the 34th pick in the 2014 NBA Draft, the New York Knicks select Cleanthony Early oh. from Wichita State <laughs> University. Wow. If some of these people have been getting wind of our discussions up here, then the first pick of the Phil Jackson administration is a decided winner. The Sun Master. <laughs> I think it's a winner. I mean, Lee Anthony Early is a first round talent. He came out of junior college. He's gotten better and better. You know, we, we call this the chip on the shoulder draft. And this guy's got a chip on his shoulder. Excellent in transition. Averages 25 points per game per 40 minutes. Uh, goes down into the post. Doesn't have a, a vast array of post moves only when he's got an angle. But as a face-up shooter, he can make a shot. And a really, really good defender. 31 points against Kentucky going up against Julius Randle in the NCAA tournament. And my comparison is James Posey, especially earlier in his career. A rangy defender, can make an open shot, finish at the rim, had a long NBA career. He's going to fit in, and the fans of New York are going to love this young player because he's going to be competitive on both ends of the court. Yeah, I, I don't even think this is a prediction. The Knicks fans are going to love Clay Anthony early. And if Carmelo ends up leaving, which seems really possible, and they have a stopgap year where they're just basically playing out the string, getting a lottery pick, and trying to clear out their cap space, this is a guy who could take a lot of shots for them. And I think the fans are really going to latch on to him. I thought it was a great pick. I like the trade. I like the pick. So, Clay Anthony early going to the Knicks and Tom Penn, what do you think about what Phil Jackson appears to be trying to do with New York right now? What he's doing is getting different. He needed to establish change in a new, a new direction, and it really starts with the trade. You bring in Calderon in the backcourt. You bring in D'Alembert in the middle. But look at this bench. It is all guards. I mean, Tim Hardaway Jr., J.R. Smith, Pablo Prigioni, Shane Larkin, Shannon Brown, and here he is, Clay Anthony Early. All these guys, you stack them all up, they're going to need some size because the focus is 100% on bringing Carmelo Anthony into the middle, bring him out front because it's all about him, not you. It's about you, Carmelo Anthony, as you dance around and decide where you're going to go. All eyes are on you. The ball is in your court. And, you know, the other thing that could happen here, if it is, ends up being a signing trade, they could take Boozer's contract back from Chicago for a year, take Gary Harris, too, give them Carmelo. Carmelo is able to get paid. And Chicago's goal, I think, with Carmelo is to not give up Taj Gibson whether they have to cut his salary or whatever, if they can keep both of those guys, I think that's what they want to do. One thing about being a great player, in particular a scorer, when you're putting up the consistent numbers like Carmelo Anthony has been doing and yeah. will continue to do, people just start to take you for granted, especially when your team isn't playing for championships every year. So they did draft early. He is going to be a good player. I've been saying he should be drafted for 10 picks. But they got to find a way to keep Carmelo Anthony. All of the moves that Phil are making are great. And you could talk about who he's going to bring in. That aren't, it's not that many superstars out there. Right. Maybe I hear some people mumbling, will he get KD in a couple of years? What's going to happen with Kevin Love? Other than that, who else is really out there as chess pieces on the board? And I really thought Carmelo had a great season last year. He had the worst backcourt in the league from a performance standpoint. They got no easy points whatsoever. Their entire offense was basically throw it to Carmelo, let him create something. Now, you could argue he wanted that kind of system because of the players that he wanted around him. But at the same time, like, he had one of his best statistical seasons ever. He had no help. What Nick was playing well last year, he was really the only one. You've talked about your gut with LeBron very quickly. What's your gut on Carmelo? Stay or go? I think Carmelo finds a way to stay in New York, unless there's a sign and trade where he can get all of his money. Are we betting this? <laughs> sure. Chicago. Well, it, 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 only if it's a sign train. We're betting. We just bet. No. You can't change the terms. No. You bet. They saw the hand. There's no gambling. There's no gambling on my set. <laughs> Ward and Reese Davis. <laughs> Back with more in the second round after this. The people, oh. Thank you, Brooklyn.